is the Disney store's Belle from the live-action movie Beauty and the Beast, played by the lovely Emma Watson. In earlier videos, we gave her a casual look, and now we're going to give her a Hermione Granger-inspired look from the Harry Potter series. In the face, she already looks like Hermione because they're played by the same actress. And in our Made to Move Belle video, we simplified her makeup. So let's start with her hair, since that needs to dry overnight. In the movies, Hermione's hair is usually pretty windblown, so there's really not a whole lot that we need to do to it. However, I want to add a little more curl. So, welcome to Limelock's Doll Salon. Please, have a seat. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Now hold very still. No, Lemon, we don't need to cut her hair today. We're just going to curl it. Aw, man. So I part and divide the hair into sections, spray with water, comb it out. I don't have any rollers, so I'm using straws and pipe cleaners. Cut the straws into smaller pieces, Take a section of hair, begin rolling the hair around the straw. Push the pipe cleaner through the straw, bend it over and twist the ends of the pipe cleaner, then wrap the loose ends around the hair to keep it secure. Repeat until the whole head has been rolled then I give the doll a hot water rinse, and be sure to always have adult supervision when working with hot objects. I place the doll's head into hot water, hold for a few seconds, then take her out, repeat a few times, then remove the doll from the water, remove the excess water gently using a towel, and allow it to dry overnight. Begin removing the pipe cleaners, Then remove the straw to see the curls. And remember, Hermione's hair is not supposed to be perfect, so it's okay if the curls are not perfect. I really just wanted to remove a lot of the factory styling. I continue to take out our homemade curlers. Use my hands to rake through the curls. Reshape them using water as needed to create a softened look. Not bad and not perfect, which is what we were going for. Now I am going to make a school uniform using fabric, needle and thread, and a sewing machine. I start by cutting a rectangle of white fabric. This is just a thin white cotton fabric. Fold it in half. On the fold, cut an opening for the neck. Lay it flat and cut straight up the center, stopping at the opening. To make the outfit, I'm using a doll with a similar body type, so I do not mess up her hair. Place the white fabric on the doll, overlapping it in the back. Use pins to hold it in place. Pin the fabric around the doll's sides. Using a pencil, I mark where to sew. I make a mark on the other side where to match the lines. Remove it from the doll. Match up the lines and pin it, and it is starting to look like a sleeveless shirt. Trim around the shoulders, leaving a seam allowance. Fold it over, sew a straight line around the edge. After sewing both arms, sew a straight line up the sides. Trim off the excess. Cut two rectangles of fabric. Fold them over and sew across one end. Turn them inside out. Here is the sewn edge and the folded edge. I place the folded rectangle on the center of the neck opening. Sew a straight line, attaching it all the way around until you reach the back. Trim off the excess. Cut a strip of Velcro in half. Pull the sides apart. Turn the shirt inside out. Fold over the collar. Turn it over to the back. Sew the Velcro onto the open sides. Place it on the doll inside out to make adjustments. Cut a long rectangle of a gray fabric. Fold over and hem the bottom edge. 
fold and make pleats. Turn the top right side out and place it on the doll. Find the waist and sketch a line right underneath. Remove it from the doll. Take the gray pleated material. Place it on the top, good side to good side, lining it up at the line marked. Use pins to hold it in place. Sew a straight line. Remove the pins. Flip the fabric over. Sew a straight stitch along the top. With the good side facing up, fold the skirt in half, leaving enough space for the doll to fit through. Sew up the two ends of the skirt. To make a shirt with a pleated skirt, cut a piece of ribbon, fold it over, sew it right under the fold onto the top of the shirt, trim the bottom to look like a tie, paint on stripes, cut a rectangle of gray fabric. This is a knit t-shirt material. Fold it in half with the good side on the inside. Place the doll in the center of the fabric, trace around it, making the shape of a long sleeve shirt. Cut around it, leaving a seam allowance. Cut two rectangles. Fold them in half so the good side is on the outside. Open the sleeves. Take the folded rectangle and line up the raw edges. Sew a straight line to make cuffs on the sleeves. Fold it over again. Draw a tear shape at the top. Cut out the center, leaving a small seam allowance. Fold over and hem around the edge. It should be large enough to fit over the doll's head. Fold it so the good side is on the inside. Sew down the sides. Trim off the excess. Turn it right side out. Cut a long rectangle of fabric. Fold in half. Line up the raw edges with the bottom of the shirt. Sew it in place using a back stitch. After sewing it all the way around, flip it over to make a gray v-neck sweater. Place it on the doll feet first to make her school uniform. We make a robe from our custom Harry Potter video and a wand from one of our previous videos to make our own custom Hermione Granger. And you're done. Happy crafting! to give a shout out to MM313. What's up? Carmen, all this walking has made me thirsty. I could really use a cocoa latte. Sophie, we are in the middle of the park. Star Frogs is all the way on the other side of town. You're just gonna have to wait. Ah, I'm not good at waiting. Ooh, what's this? It's a wand! Carmen, I just found a wand. Do you know what this means? That you should turn it in to the magical professor. Well, yes, but first, cocoa lattes all around! Sophie, don't you have to be magical to use one of those? Hello, mermaid! Now, what is that word that Perry Hopper is always saying? Oh, I know. Accio Coco Latte. Nothing's happening. Not that I am trying to encourage you or anything, but if I found a magical wand, I would not waste it on Coco Lattes. You're right. Accio Grandma's Famous Pie. Accio My Mini Mixy Cute Rainbow Unicorn. Accio iPhone 7 Plus! 
Ah, uh, these don't work. Accio book. <gasps> wow. Do you think she will Accio us a Coco Latte? 